Hello, welcome to my channel, Renzo here. Today I'm gonna paint a commission. Hello Maggi, hello Cap with with store. Okay, let's begin. I wanna start with bristle brushes. I have medium here, linseed oil and turpentine. Let's make a, squ a sketch. Uh, let's see. One head is going to be here. The other head is going to be around here. Shoulders. Just using orange and white. Let me see. The sky. Ah, uh, the sky. Junket, the junket here. Okay. Stepping back, I need to see. The size of this canvas is 18 by 24 inches. But you're gonna be able to see just like, uh, what, 15 by 15? Okay, hello Monique, hello Marion, hello Prat Thamesh, hello Michael, hello Rosario from Chicago. Okay, let's see. Mm, I'm stepping back, I just need to see if that's okay. Yes, I think that's okay. Uh, this painting is for Marjorie Brooks. Uh, she's from USA. Okay. I'm just uh, making this kind of a sketch. I need to just squint down my eyes and imagine the face here, the head, and I'm trying to see if it's gonna fit on the canvas. I think that's okay. I'm going to draw a little bit of uh, the shadows here. I'm just in black, red, and yellow. Okay, when I mean the shadows, I mean uh, squinting down my eyes, all the dark areas I, that I see. I see this as a dark. I'm squinting down my eyes, just trying to copy shapes. Okay. Uh, hello, Rosan. Hello, Dinesh from ne Nepal. Wow, amazing. Okay. I need to step back, step back again. Okay, well, what I'm going to do, what I usually do, I prepare two mixtures. One is gonna be a light, a uh, kind of grayish orangey color for the lights. Okay. And the other one is gonna be the same orange and gray, black and white. But this is gonna this is gonna be a darker. And I have uh, these colors are for the skin. I have a lighter color and a darker color for the skin. 
and I'm going to adjust uh, those colors. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. Now I have to work just a little bit up, uh, on his face and a little bit of her, her, her face. Until I feel that the position of uh, him and her are okay. That's okay. Let's continue. Always checking the proportions. Okay, even I don't see here, but I see the brow, and from the brow to the nose, to the nose to the chin. That's the canon. Okay, we gotta be checking the canon always. too much paint yet I have another brush here let's paint it You're not going to see this area down here. We're just mixing color blue and white. At the end, this uh, two hour session, I'm going to try to move my, my camera, okay, to show you, uh, to try to show you the whole uh, image, the whole painting. I, can, I cannot promise that, but I will try, okay? all the palette at the end okay. in the next session I'm gonna work with another palette on my hand yeah okay let's see let's step back mm, I think it's okay No 
ואורכלות דיניש, דיניש סאסקימי, היה מאפסל סלף טראט ארטיסט. נו, אני עשיתי ארט כאן במדינת שלי, בסקול של פיין ארט כאן בלימה פרו. I studied for six years. I mean, it was it was five years, but I studied six because I did it so bad in one in one of the years, and I have to repeat. I have to repeat one year. Hello Fengchun from France back a lot you know uh, I mean uh, it's too er early to, to see if everything is gonna be okay I'm checking out the relationship between the face here the head and the head here Okay, Marion is BG for uh, okay, UK for England. Nice, really nice to have people from from everywhere. Oh, okay, just give me a second. Okay, let's continue painting the face. You know, this is just only when we paint. Just only, uh, this is a, lo a lonely, a lonely thing. Okay? Usually, when I paint a commission and. I was just here, my studio, alone, with loud music. Well, when I was younger, I mean, now I don't like too much loud music. 
But no, really fun, really fun uh, for me to share with you this. I'm gonna make this darker. Oh, I gotta say that this is not in my common process when I'm paying the commission. I'm doing it this way to for the video for YouTube to entertain you. Uh, usually, when I paint the commission at home, uh, here here I trace the drawing, or uh, I used to project the drawing. I I, I I had I had a projector. Yeah. Uh, wow! Well, I think uh, I sold this projector about maybe 10 years ago and I remember my kids they used to be with me I was painting and my son and my daughter they were just around around me <laughs> and my daughter, she was the, the one that did. she was picking up the brushes. And as soon as I, I went to the bathroom or just to pick up a coffee, I came back and I, I saw something like, fuh, 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 like this on the face. It was, oh my God, what happened? And my daughter, she was just smiling. She was like, Papi, I, I, I'm helping you. I said, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I remember uh, uh, when I was about to finish up a, a painting I was careful I was really careful because I have to uh, put my painting up or so on the hand on the on a wall or do something yes Yeah, that was my, my daughter yeah? my, my son he was different he was like uh, around there it was uh, my daughter she was the one to, who pick up the brushes and go on to my painting and my son he, he uh, pick up the, the tubes paint with his hands and squeeze a lot of paint from the tubes I, I had to be very careful with uh, with with him, <laughs> and then he went all over the walls. Yeah. Just uh, with his hands, just I mean, <laughs> can you imagine? I mean, you can imagine that. Eh? When I was uh, younger, that was different. When I was single, sorry, sorry, when I was single. Yeah, because usually we, uh, you, I used to share a studio. That's so common here that between friends, art students, uh, they rent some, some place, an apartment, something kind of big. Uh, we used to rent a house and we were like eight eight or ten 
think I don't remember. Yeah. We were kind of a, a small group, yeah, but it was we paint we kind of uh, have a, a room each one of us and we paint their uh, I was paint sometimes we cook we have pa parties it was amazing Stepping back again, I think the position of the heads are okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay, okay. Stepping back, I'm measuring here. I need, I need a minute. I need to. Mm, I need to measure it. Okay, okay, give me a second. to draw the face I need a longer longer and more brush okay I think I can work with this too all my brushes are synthetic brushes different brands but all of them are kind of the same Okay, let's work on his face. Let's make some details on that. Like, I'm gonna make some to, uh, darker color here. Okay, let's see. They need to move the mouth.
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak about the, uh. Okay, I, I think um, I don't know. Maybe I'll continue telling you just stories about when I was a student until you fall asleep. <laughs> Okay. I'm still using just two colors, two colors just, you know, I, I mean, I'm just thinking about that this is something flat, you just two values. It's better for me in this way, uh, I'm able to capture better the proportions, because I'm just trying to see like a shape here, you see this, this shape, I see how high and width is this shape and compare with the image double check I think it's okay and I continue Speaking about when I was a student, I remember the first uh, time that I started to work. I was I was so lo lucky to start to paint. It was just about painting. It was a guy that he uh, he was a student in the school of art. Okay, but his friend, his bro brothers, they uh, sell paintings and then they were looking for somebody to copy paintings you know i mean make copies for just like a, all masters copy i mean not not really really good good copies but and i started to work in doing that You know, it's more like um, something like a, 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 a lot of re religious uh, paintings. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't even remember, but it was a lot, a lot, a lot of these uh, paintings. And I remember, I remember, uh, I was about uh, copies of Bogero's paintings which uh, they were really difficult and for me as a student i mean i was in my maybe 20s yeah i was 20 21 i think yeah, i got paid i got paid i remember something like uh, 50 or 50 dollars or 100 dollars for a huge painting like let's say 40 by 50 inches and i was so happy <laughs> it was a lot of money for me you know i didn't have i mean that was the money was it was just for alcohol <laughs> no not for alcohol i mean for some to buy materials and to buy some beers with my friends back I think I think it's okay mm -hmm. I'm not so sure you know that uh, more I paint then I start to, to be able to see more mistakes and correct the mistakes
Okay. Oh, maybe during the airport. Okay. Oh, well, I don't think you're gonna make it. Okay. Hmm. Are you seeing oil paints? Thank you, Phillips. Thank you, Maggie. Hello, Joyce. Uh, I saw the forum. We have to paint here. Oh, okay, that's okay, Joyce. I'm gonna send you as soon as I finish here. I'm gonna send you the, the, the link for the Zoom class for today. Okay. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Stepping back. Yeah, I think it's, everything is okay. Let's continue. Mm. Okay, let me see. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. You see a triangle here? I'm gonna try I'm trying to copy that. A triangle here. Okay, a triangle for the nose. You know my advice for drawing is always try to simplify everything. That's gonna be easier. The same here, the simplifying this. Yeah, that's okay. I'm gonna use another, another brush for. The profile. Mm, okay, no, no, not yet. To work more, a little bit more here. brush and a little bit of this blue Okay, I have to 
step back again. Mm -hmm. I gotta go back up here. No, no, need to work a little bit more on here. Mixing cadmium yellow with white. Okay, let's see. going to do is uh, uh, I always do this uh, let's say I look for alignments uh, let's say that the eye with the ear the ear with the corner of the eye the bottom of the, the head with hair ear okay uh, I mean uh, I'm tracing lines vertical lines all the time and of course horizontal lines to see for example his chin is aligned with the top of her head okay it's just uh, like tracing a, a grid on top of the image Let me adjust my camera a minute, okay? So it looks really bluish. Nice. 
I don't think it's that one off. Moving this up just little by little. black and white
Let me think, let me step back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I think everything is, is okay. The, the hands is the only thing that is going to take me more time. I mean, hands are always difficult. I'm trying to see the mirror. Mm, okay. Okay, that's okay, I think. Okay, let's work on the face again. Hello Amber, hello Ria, hello Elizabeth uh, uh, Lucky from Han uh, Hungary, Hungary, I don't know how to say it. Hello Mary, hello Maggie. Back again, I need to double check here. work on the face again his face and then her face Just a minute, okay? To, uh, I just uh, I'm just uh, measuring here. I'm just uh, moving my eyes to right to left to compare the image. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's work on mid tones here. I need more yellow. Okay, so one little thing here. I need first. Okay, kind of difficult to see if that's something. I have a doubt be, uh, between the sizes of the heads. I think maybe I, I, I painted his head too big. I'm not so sure. Mm. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm going to fix a, a lot of things uh, pretty sure uh, as soon as uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take a rest. Uh, and definitely it's going to be tomorrow. Mm. Yeah, because I'm now I'm just full of of doubts about proportions. You know, when you paint uh, uh, two two people, uh, is uh, is the relationship between both of them? It's kind of simple to work just on one face, but the problem is the size. Right now, I feel that maybe I should reduce the size of his head or maybe make her head a little bigger okay I have that doubt now I'm not gonna make anything I'm just gonna continue painting okay and another thing that uh, his shoulders well that's we all experience this we have a lot of doubt but we have to continue okay because I mean there is no way to know uh, a lot of times I make a correction and realize that it was okay. But we have to deal with this. Okay, let's continue. Let me take. A little bit of orange juice. Oh, where I was? Oh, I was working on the making the lights. I think these lights are going to help me with the size of the uh, her head. Now let's work on mitons. I'm making a value between this light and this dark.
Okay. Let me read the comments. Oh, hello, Frederica Angela from Philippines. Nice. Okay. Marion. Yeah. Yep. Oh, Maggie, I'm sure you will be able to fix whatever you need to. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you know, every time that you work on two persons, the portrait is, is uh, I mean, I, uh, it's always the same. I mean, I always deal, I, I've been dealing with the size of the relationship between the size of the heads. Mm, okay, let's continue working. I'm just adding pure black. Okay, I think it's okay. Mm. I'm just using this black, black. Uh, definitely, I'm gonna put more paint on top of this. I just need need this right now because I, I want to establish the dark areas as I see in the image. Okay. Um, later in the process. I'm gonna just uh, do what I always do. You've been watching my videos. I'm gonna make possibly this really dark, this one, and I'm going to knock down this one. Why? Just to create the illusion of depth. To make this a little away from us than this one, okay? Right now, I need this because uh, I'm comparing. I'm squinting down my eyes. When I squint down my eyes, what I see is just light in shadows. And I don't see them clearly because I need that's what I need is to make this a little bit darker in order to when I squint my, my when I squint down my eyes to see this. Okay.
I holding my hand with my other hand, doing this, just supporting one hand with the other. Let me step back. Mm. Okay, let me see the proportions. Maybe I have to make his, her nose a little bit or oh, a little mm. bit longer. Mm.
Okay, I'm suffering here. <laughs> okay, let me speak about anything, okay? Because uh, we need to relax, and I need to relax a little bit. It could be really stressful to try to get the proportion right, the lightness. All of that. Mm. Okay. Um, I think I got. Mm, I think I think I'm, I'm close. I'm close in both. I mean, speaking about the the proportion of the face, that not the likeness that like uh, perfectly, but I feel that I can work from here. Okay. Just a minute I'm comparing here with the image. Okay, I think it's okay. Oh. Mm. Okay, I'm going to continue speaking about, about anything because I just want to relax a little bit. You know, I get, uh, I get too much into the painting and I'm starting just to see mistakes here and there. And definitely there are mistakes. It's so always it's just it's just like that always the process of painting is a process of correcting correcting okay then when uh <laughs> when i continue speaking the first studio that i share with my friends uh, that's uh, it's kind of a sad story now because one of my friends that he already died uh, he had ca cancer and he didn't know he didn't realize about that wow it's so sad i mean it was looks just like one day he um I don't, I don't know exactly what happened that but I remember i uh that he, uh, it was so so soon, so fast. Really scary. Now the point that we share a studio, I mean, with my friend, we were like eight. We always, I mean, painting and just having a good time. Like always, uh, I remember when somebody sell, sold a painting uh, that guy, or, or I mean, that they have to buy uh, the food for the day. <laughs> it was kind of a, a deal between us. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, a good meal is like something like from a nice restaurant, not something really, really expensive. But a, a good meal. I don't know what happened that but I think I moved from there. They they uh they keep the studio for years but I I I stayed uh, there for I think a couple of years. I don't remember exactly. And then I moved to another studio. Uh, it was a, a beer. Yeah yeah I remember uh there was just a small room for me and I moved to another place where I, I uh, we were just three people and I had like a um, a big space for me I was and and the, uh, the idea it was that we were three one uh, was uh, an actor a, the a theater actor my other friend uh, he was a teacher yes an art school teacher that means that kind of I have the whole space for me to paint because my friend uh, he's a, uh, he was an actor he used to practice there with you know other actors and it's kind of they they feel like okay with the space I mean just yeah they have enough space to practice I remember he made me act <laughs> once a couple of times something like for it was like I was it wasn't anything serious it was for uh, for kids it was kind of a, something for kids yeah and I ended up being like a, a dog or, or a beard a bear a bear a dog or I don't remember a cat and I don't remember it was just Really nice experience. Yeah. My friend, he used to tell me, he used to tell me, oh my God, you're so bad, man, acting. <laughs> well, that's okay, I need I need somebody. Okay, I said, just to try to look natural. I'm trying really hard. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> it was so funny. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna read here. At what age did you start painting? Uh, I think my first painting was when I, I was 14. To be honest, I don't remember exactly. But well, I think when I was 14. Uh, or 15. I mean, I, I I don't remember exactly, but I remember that I was uh, I, w I was in school. I was a teenager. Yeah? I remember that. Uh, my friend, the one that he's an actor, uh, he was a painter. I mean, what happened when we uh, in the school of art here? Uh, that when you wanna be a teacher, they put you on an acting, an acting, an acting uh, to, to learn acting. Yeah, and there, my friend, uh, he was a painter. He realized he loved 
too much acting and you know I mean art is kind of really small here's a small thing here it's not something that uh, you have a lot of a lot of opportunities but he managed himself to make a living making a uh, theater how do you say place? And I spent like uh, a couple of years in that studio with my friends. And still, I don't remember what happened. I don't, uh, honestly, I don't remember what happened. Uh, and then I moved to another studio. Uh, that one, it was a really, really tiny, tiny, small room. I was looking for something. And I couldn't find something. And I just found a small room. It was like a, just one room with a big window and a bathroom. That's it. And I said, okay. I took it. Uh, and uh, I don't know. That was uh, that's, that little space that really was kind of magic for me. Because the window was kind of, I see every night just the sky. Okay. And the thing is, this this little room... It was in the kind of in the center of the city, the downtown. Uh, there is a lot of noise, a lot of cars. I mean, but every time that I close my door, for some reason I don't know why, <laughs> even with the window open, it was totally silent. It was um, something weird, like uh, really, really, I couldn't hear anything. Like it was, oh wow, I, I like it that. Yes, as soon as I opened my the door, I started to, to, to listen to some noise and as soon as I just get out of the building, it was too noisy. Yeah, because it was in downtown. The good thing about that, uh, it was like a, if I felt hungry like at, I don't know, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., I mean at night, at the morning, at night, really late, I could find any restaurant. Because, you know, in downtown, I mean, restaurants, they used to be open, some of them, really late. And I used to sleep uh, next to my easel. It was my easel and my bed. And it wasn't a bed, it was something like, um, I was like, I was camping. <laughs> I didn't have a proper bed. You know, when you go camping and you throw this thing, I don't know the name. It was something like that. Sometimes I woke up like at 3 a.m. I look at my easel yes, and I started to paint. And I started to paint for three, four hours. And then it was like, oh my God, what time is it? It's 8 a.m. in the morning. I went to sleep. <laughs> I was to, to sleep. I wake up again at 2 p.m. And I went out to take breakfast. breakfast. At that time, and then I, I I went inside again to paint, and I was there like the whole day, just painting, getting out to eat and painting, uh, forgetting about the time because I used to just paint at any time. It's like you. I felt hungry. I went out to to eat. I felt sleepy. I just sleep. Hmm. I remember uh, sometimes for a month, I used to kind of wake up at two, three p.m. I went out to take breakfast, and I I paint. I paint until like four a.m. at the morning. 
really late. At that time, you know, I didn't have any laptop, I don't have any computer, I didn't have any smartphone. It was just me, my easel, my paintings. Just that. I, if we, I, I mean, I don't think that... I think at that time existed the cell phones, but I didn't have a cell phone. It's just like today, today uh, a lot of people ask me, you, you have WhatsApp? No, I don't. I don't like to be called. <laughs> yeah, and my number is just like three people know know my number. Just that. And the number that I have like uh, for in my account, that's my, my son number. And he's always kind of complaining that that some people's calling me and why don't you use your cell, your own cell phone, your own number. Yeah, but he didn't complain that much because I mean, you know, I paint the line. I mean, he, he just, and this is a nice, this nice cell phone that he, he has. And I was paying for that. Yeah? I paid a lot of money for that cell phone with a lot of things. I mean, all the things that young people love. And I don't know when I I bought I bought I bought I bought a computer. I don't remember what year, but it definitely was in my thirties, maybe forties. Wow, really late. I discovered this thing about this thing about internet really late. I was lucky enough, I think, just to make a living just painting, selling my paintings and always painting portraits. Uh, I mean, it was mostly about my own paintings and painting portraits. And even here in my country in Peru, that this small, really small, tiny country, and art is not a big thing here. Even here, there are a lot of people that loved to have a painting, a portrait. But that's why for me, I, I was able to make a living. From, yeah. And then I stayed there for that little room for uh, two more years, I think. I don't remember exactly. And then I went to, I started to, I got married, I think. I got married, I got my daughter. No, no, no. I went to Puerto Rico to make an uh, to exhibition to an art exhibition to an art exhi exhibition and that was really nice and uh, I love Puerto Rico I went there like ten times it, once a year I spent then there like four months six months and then I went back to Peru and then the next year again for three months, four months, then went back to Peru. Next, for eight or nine years, I, I was doing that. Yeah. And I 
remember that I've been in Puerto Rico like if you put all the month together like maybe three years let's say let's say let's put all the month together and I just I went to the beach like four times I think yeah. It's kind of, I, I repeat, I mean, when you paint, when you're a painter and you get into this, it's kind of, it's a repetition. It's, I mean, I remember, I remember I, I stayed like a month in one of my friend's house. Uh, he works, in, he worked, he worked in restoration. And as soon as uh, he discovered that I was good at retouching things, yeah, little details, I started to help him with retouches and I remember one of the, the the times I went I went to Puerto Rico he was like oh man you uh, I'm going to Peru and then you wanna stay you wanna stay at my at my house uh, there's nobody there there you have my my car he had uh, he had two cars I mean you have two cars there you can use any one of anyone yeah. okay and I remember that month I stayed there just painting. <laughs> I was just like, a, I put a small TV next to my easel and I painted, I started to paint for 8, 8 a.m. I remember to 4, it was like some 3 or 4 p.m. I crossed the street because it was a 7 11 store I bought a sandwich I ate and I continued painting to like 12 it was like I was painting like 12 14 hours every day the next day the same the same the same like for a full month I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think that my, my, my life is being so boring. Well. Oh, uh, Terry is asking me, do you have family members who paint? Yeah, I have my, my dad, my mom, my aunt, my, my uncle, <laughs> my wife, <laughs> my daughter. My daughter, she's almost an illustrator. She's trying to make a living, I mean, <laughs> making illustrations. Or Joyce saying commission paintings that are for the subject are always stressful. Yes, it's very stressful. Because you have only one photo reference and they have had a life of looking at each other. Yeah. thinking about um, let me see if I can move the camera here to zoom I'm using my old my old camera 
and I need to know if the the zoom is working. Yeah, I'm gonna work on here. Okay. Let me change the color because the color is not coming here. I'm adding more red. This is my old webcam. You notice that as soon as I put my hand, it changed. Yeah. Sorry about that. But uh, my new camera, with my new camera, I'm not able to to uh, work from some distance. I, uh, I mean, this camera here, this webcam. I, uh, with this webcam, I have the possibility to make uh, to keep the cam kind of close to the painting, but it feels like it's kind of far away. I don't know how to explain that, but with my new camera, it's kind of it's, if I wanna get if I wanna paint this, I have to move the camera really away from the painting, really, really away from the painting. Yeah, but, but but with my new camera this doesn't happen like you change the light gets a little bit darker a little bit lighter
I was planning to paint another commission today, uh, but I'm not going to be able to make it. That's going to be Thursday. You know, I have a, uh, a class at 7 p.m. Central Time, a group, a paint alone group with my patrons. Okay, I'm going just a little bit little you see the angle of the nose is different I mean I don't know if you can see that because the image is too sort of small but Okay, something is wrong with the mouth. Yeah, the angle of the mouth is not okay. There's something wrong here. Difficult to say to say what is wrong. Okay, maybe. Okay, I have to continue working. You know, I uh, don't trust my own eyes sometimes. Uh, I'm saying that because sometimes I see a mistake. And I just want to jump right to fix that. I have learned that I, I have to just to control myself and not to do that, not to go and right away to fix, just continue painting and checking out those mistakes and sometimes uh, after a few minutes I don't see the mistakes anymore, I mean especially one mistake, something like, uh, that means that that mistake it was about just value Yeah. I mean sometimes, yes, yeah? it's not not always. Sometimes let me do this here. Hello David, Heaton, thank you. Terry, did painting come easy for you? Like I know when I was younger. Some people knew painting came so easy to them. Okay. Yeah, I think like I gotta say that it was kind of easier. Well, but uh, I have seen my paintings. I mean, I don't, I don't have like any, no one. I don't have not even one painting like an old, old painting like from twenty years or thirty years. Yeah, but I remember checking out my paintings like after a few years, 
and they I mean they weren't they weren't good paintings I had a lot of mistakes I mean normal mistakes is yes, when you're learning and I remember when I paint then when I paint then I thought I was doing kind of something kind of easier but it's not I mean I'm gonna say this kind of mm, it's not always easier about painting it takes time it takes you can make it to be honest it doesn't matter how how much experience experience you have how many years you're painting you're gonna have to uh be let's say stressful when you paint and when you paint a portrait i mean i mean it's just like that i don't know what i mean especially portraits yeah you know because with portraits we have to deal with uh, somebody's opinion it's not just painting painting something that everybody's gonna look at and say okay that's fine i mean that's what you wanted to paint perfect but a portrait is gonna be always somebody that's gonna judge or painting and then compare the paintings you're gonna ask who's that guy who's this woman who's and when that happened uh, you know I kind of uh, that, that put uh, in a position of uh, be aware that we're gonna be judged and uh, that I mean the, there, um, I don't think there there is nobody that's gonna say no it does not does not affect to me I mean we are not made of stone yeah? we're gonna feel the, the critique we're, not, we're gonna know that we've been critique we've been observed how do you meet your wife okay okay that's uh, when I was a student in the school of art in yeah, the last year as a student, uh, I started to date, dating her. Yeah. Mm. I keep that story for the next time. Yeah, <laughs> so many things just came to my mind about her. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, Terry is asking me about like, the paint alone sessions. Uh, I I have we we paint with acrylics Saturdays, but but just uh, just still lives and just a small small a really small thing, a small element, small subject, and we go really slow. Uh, I mean Saturdays is uh, my four four dollar tier. Okay, we paint just yes, still lives. Wednesday, Wednesdays is fifteen dollars, fifteen, not fifty, fifteen dollars. Uh, we paint in, in everything like we, we painted an eye, a nose. We have painted a horse or um, like everything. And the one hundred dollars tier is like the. VIP tier. We paint for four hours every Tuesday at night and every su Sunday in the morning. For four hours every Sunday. I mean, four Sundays. That means that it just is up to ten people. Just ten people. No more because it's easier to just to for me to critique. Yeah, because more people is gonna be kind of difficult. I mean, the idea in that that's the, those group is paint, and uh, for me to be able to critique each painting. Man, we all see uh, everybody's painting. That's something that's really, really good because. We, we learn we learn when with some um, some uh, from the mistakes that everybody's just making sometimes we see common mistakes and we realize about that when we paint together it's kind of similar to this I mean 
in the swim classes, eh? in the swim session. And painting and you paint the the, the, the difference is uh, because we, we use zoom, I'm gonna be able to see what you paint. At the moment, real time. Okay. No, my skin color is uh, it's an orange, a grayish orange. It could be more reddish, it could be more yellowish. It's just about it's about that. Adding more yellow, or more red. Of course, you can try another color like for example another simple combination is uh on burnt sienna and ultramarine blue
Okay, okay. I'm going to make the image a little bigger. I think even bigger. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. The image is a little bit darker. I want to show you here. Let me see if I can show, I'll show you the full. I'm not so sure. I have the image to my left. Let me show you. I don't know if you can see the image here. Okay, I have the image here. What I do is I zoom the image. Like you see here. You see how dark it is? I know. Are you, I think you can see a little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm checking out. Okay, I think 
that's it for today Where is the image? Oh my god, I don't remember where is <laughs> the image. Okay, I think that's it for today. I mean, uh, I'm gonna let it dry. I'm going to complete the background. I'm gonna erase the palette. And the next time, I'm gonna use a, 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 a different palette, of course. I'm gonna take out the colors from here. Let it dry for at least a couple of days. Thank you so much guys for being here, see you next time, I'm gonna work a little bit more here but I mean I'm not, I'm not able to move the camera and that's gonna be so boring just watching me work in the, the background. Okay. I'm gonna read the comments and say bye. Okay. Hello, Anna. Okay, hello, hello, Marion. Okay. Uh, yeah, Marion, I know the reference photo, the photo reference is really small. I mean, I make it a little bit, a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay, see you next time. Take care. Bye. See you in a couple of days. In a couple of days, I think I'm going to work on two paintings. Because you know I have another another commission that I started uh, about four days ago. It's already dried. And I'm going to start working with this, I think, one after another. Take care. Thank you for being here. Bye.